my pleasure to invite Dr. William Chin to come to the podium and share his wisdom with us. Dr. Chin had an illustrious career at Eli Lilly and is now at Harvard Medical School as a professor. Thank you, Laurie. A good evening, everyone. I know we're only running about an hour behind, Laurie, so I'll make my comments quite brief. I think it's very clear today and this evening that we're all about our patients, both here and abroad. Now, I've been in medicine and in science and in industry for over four decades, and I've seen a lot. I've seen great successes, but I've seen dismal failures. And yet there are still many more questions that are begging answers. There's still, as you said, many more diseases to conquer. Tonight's awards not only recognize the golden age that you referred to, but previous awards and the steadfast work of the Galeon Foundation have actually helped to make it all come about. I was gonna say something about the fall. You know, I love fall. We think about harvest and bounty, but what we've witnessed is in fact a great harvest of tremendous recent success leading to understanding of a golden age. You just have heard uh, two wonderful Galleon Awards for immuno-oncology. This is a remarkable advance, which is just part of what has happened in the industry to actually increase the five-year survival rate for cancers, all cancers, to 68%, according to the NCI. Hepatitis C is now curable in more than 90% of treated patients. My own field of endocrinology, we can go on and on, diabetes, osteoporosis, and hypertension, great gains. So discovering, developing, and delivering innovative medicines is really critical to our healthcare system, which must continue to deliver safe, reliable, and effective care and treatment options, again, for our patients. In that spirit, Peggy, in that spirit, the FDA, since 2000, has approved over 500 medicines. There are now over 7,000 potential medicines in the pipeline. All of these have the potential of delivering tremendous, measurable value to our patients again, our healthcare system, our economy and society. But they also deliver something even more, uh, more than, and, and that's easy to measure, and, but no less valuable, and that is hope. Hope that a cure can be found, that treatment can be effective, that life can be lived and shared with others. So these awards recognize the best in research, but we are constantly remind, reminded how hard it is. For all the successors we are recognizing, there are many, many, many failures. And, and Roy, the panels today talked about that. So it reminds us that this work is most effectively done in an ecosystem of basic investigation with academics and government, including NIH and FDA, but also with industry, with drug discovery and development. And it highlights another point that you just made, Laurie, that in fact, if we're gonna go move on, we're gonna have to do this in collaboration. So all this has helped us to have this bountiful harvest to reach this golden age of research. And these awards, in addition, help plant the seeds for the next season, for the future awards. They encourage the future. They help inspire the next generation of great research. The value is long and lasting. So on behalf of the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, I congratulate all those honored today, and in fact, all the nominees as well. And all those have been honored through the years by the Gallium Foundation. Thank you all for your hard work, and thank you for the foundation for recognizing and rewarding it. Thank you very much, Laurie.